<laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tool Time. In this video we'll be looking at the mesh tool in Adobe Illustrator and if you want to follow along then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm going to pass you over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks, Ross. So we can find the mesh tool over on the left hand side and the keyboard shortcut is U. So selecting it, we are going to use it on these objects on the right hand side. So we're going to start with a very simple example with this square here. And I can simply use it by clicking anywhere along the path of an object. Now, because the fill color we had selected was the same as the square, we're not going to see any differences in colour. However, you will see that a horizontal path has been added through this square. If I continue to click along this path, we can add as many of these horizontal paths as we like. If I click along one of the horizontal paths up at the top of the square, for example, it's going to add some vertical paths now. So we can essentially create a mesh this way. And if I switch to my direct selection tool, you'll see that we actually have a bunch of anchor points where these intersect, as well well as along the edge of the object. So what I can do with these is select any of them or I can select multiple points and I can simply move these around and essentially start warping the object with these newly created anchor points. So we can get quite creative with this. I'm just going to continue to move some of these around. I can simply just click on individual points as well if I want to and move them around to create something slightly more unique. And this is just one use of this tool. Where it's even more useful though is when we actually start to apply some colour to these points. So this is what's known as a gradient mesh but I can simply select specific points. So again I'm just clicking and dragging over all of the points around the edge of this object and if I go over to my fill tile I'll double click on it and we'll select a new colour. We'll go with a darker orange this time. Click OK and you can see these colours are being applied around the edge but it's feathering into the original yellow colour. So this is the same if we select specific points within the square as well. I'll select this top corner for example and we'll go with another colour and it's only going to apply to the general areas where we have the anchor points selected. So this means we can actually be very precise and very creative in our use of these gradients. So that's all very well for an object with straight edges but for something like a circle it's slightly different but the same principle apply. Again, pressing U on my keyboard to enable the mesh tool, I'm going to click around this circle and again you can see this is applying some paths in between. However, it's actually taking the curvature of the circle into account here. When I get to a certain point on the circle, it's going to start applying these horizontally across. It just depends on the way the path flows and we're going to get automatically generated lines depending on what we have here. I can can grab my direct selection tool and we can select specific points and we can apply some more unique colors to them. So in this case I'll select a darker blue for example. Select some more points here and we could create a highlight area. This is another good use of this tool. And remember with the direct selection tool we can always move these points around if you need to manipulate them to get a slightly different look. It is totally possible. And last but not least we are also able to remove any of the segments we've created. With the tool selected, if I hold Option or Alt on a PC, you'll notice that our cursor changes to have a minus underneath it. And if I simply click on one of these paths, we can easily remove it that way. And I can easily add new segments back in by just clicking anywhere around the object again. But that's it for an overview of the mesh tool in Adobe Illustrator. Mm -hmm. 